Hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to do the week three math SAT problem of the week. In the question it says, if a circle with a center is O has an area of nine pi, what is the area of the equilateral triangle ABC? So they're referring to this diagram right here where you have a circle with a, with a center O and an equilateral triangle ABC. They go on to give you a hint. Uh, the hint is that an equilateral triangle has three 60 degree angles. On the SAT reference sheet, um, there is a bullet point that says all triangles angles add up to 180 degrees. So you would be able to get to this hint even without it being stated. They also give us the area of a circle, pi r squared, and the area of a triangle, half the base times height. These, both of these equations are on the SAT, PSAT reference sheet. And they also give us the ratios of side lengths for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is also on the reference sheet for SAT and PSAT. So let's get started. So um, I can see the first thing I see in this example is that the diameter of the circle is the same length as the height of the triangle. And lucky for us, the height of the triangle is one of the pieces we need in order to find the area of the equilateral triangle. So let's start with pi, um, pi r squared is equal to 9 pi because they told us that the area of the circle is 9 pi. From here, uh, what I can do is I can cancel a pi out on each side and I get r squared equals to 9. If I take the square root of each side, I can get the radius equal to 3. So now working, uh, looking back at the diagram, I can see that if the radius is 3, the height of the triangle is going to be 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw um, the half of the uh, equilateral triangle a little bit larger underneath so we can get a sense of what we're working with. So we have a right triangle. We know that the height is 6. And I also know that one of these angles is going to be 60 degrees because they told me that the um, equilateral triangle has 60 degrees. Well, based on the triangle sum theorem, where all angles of a triangle add up to 180, we know that the missing angle here is going to be 30. And now I can use my 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So uh, based on this, I can see that 6, the number 6, is in the position or in the spot of x square root of 3 on the diagram that they gave me. So in other words, 6 is equal to x square root of 3. This is a, based on this equation now, I should be able to solve for x, so I divide by a square root of 3 on each side. Okay, and th from this point in the problem, what I'm going to do is there's two ways you can go about it. We can use a decimal equivalent or we can use a radical. So I'll do both uh, just so you can see how each is done. So first things first, let's do um, the decimal equivalent. So if I just take my calculator and I do 6 divided by the square root of 3, I can get x equal to um, 3.464. Okay. And now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the radical version up here. So when I have 6 over square root of 3, uh, what we have to do is we have to rationalize the denominator. This is something you probably learned in um, Algebra 2 or maybe geometry. Uh, so 
rationalizing simply means that we don't want a, a radical in the bottom of the in the bottom of the fraction. So what I do is I multiply by radical three in the bottom and radical three in the top. In the top, I'm going to get six radical three. And in the bottom, I get radical nine because three times three is nine, but radical nine is really just three. From here, I can see that uh, six divided by three is two and I get two radical three. Okay, so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my equilateral triangle and we're going to find the area. So let's draw that in. So now I have the whole uh, equilateral triangle, right? I have my height of six that we found from the area. I know that this is a couple of things here. We can say that this is 3.464, right? And or two radical three. So uh, again, we're doing both versions, okay? And then what I know is that the height of this equilateral triangle is a perpendicular bisector. So in other words, the we have the same side on the other side. So this is also 3.464 into radical three. Okay, so now what I can do is I can find the measure of the base, right? And the base is the other piece that I need to find the area of the triangle. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the, the base down here. So we can we can have four radical three or 3.464 plus 3.464, 6.928. Okay, so now we have a decimal equivalent for the base and we have a, um, we have a radical version of the base. So uh, the pieces that are important to us are the six and these two pieces right here. Let's do the radical first. So we have um, six times four. So area equals, we'll do this up here. Area equals six times four radical three over two. Okay. So um, six times four is 24. 24 divided by two is 12 radical three. And that is the area of the triangle in radical form. And then maybe I can clear some room down here. We can also do the decimal form. So this would be uh, area equals six times 6.928 divided by two. Uh, so six divided by two is three, um, and then three times uh, six point nine two eight is about twenty twenty point eight twenty point seven eight. I get my calculator. All right, so we have twenty point seven eight, and that's going to be my decimal equivalent. And then you can always check the answer as well. So we could uh, we could do 12 times square root of three and get 20.78. And um, that corresponds to the decimal equivalent I got there. In this question that we posted, it didn't say whether to answer in decimal form or radical form, but sometimes they'll tell you to answer one way or another on the test. So I hope this helps and we'll uh, see you next problem.